Welcome to the Reports Analysis Division web video series on FECFILE, the Commission's free electronic filing software. FECFILE is a software program that stores all the information needed to file your disclosure reports with the FEC. In this clip, I will walk you through a general overview of how FECFILE works. Before starting, you will need to download the FECFILE software from our website, request an electronic filing password, and have the Getting Started manual on hand. For more information, visit fec.gov. Let's begin by opening FECFILE. In the opening screen, you will see the committee file with file extension .dcf. The committee file, stored on your computer, holds the entirety of the committee's reporting history, contacts, and transactions. For each new report, it is important to open the same committee file. Do not create a new committee file each time the committee files a report. To make this the default option, check this box in the lower left-hand corner. The DCF file is the only copy of your data, so be sure to save the file often and in an easy-to-remember spot. Also, regularly back up the file on a flash drive, external hard drive, or CD. FECFILE is a database that stores your committee's financial activity. Rather than having all your information in one flat file, it is broken out into a separate tab for contacts, a separate tab for contributions, and a separate tab for disbursements. It's laid out like a file cabinet. We'll go over these tabs in more detail later. You can select tabs by clicking on them and dragging them into any order you choose. These icons at the top of the screen represent different parts of the database. You can see what they stand for by mousing over them. You can bring up any tab by clicking on the icon or using the View menu. The Individuals, Organizations, and Events tab is where you can see every contact in your database. This tab allows us to add, edit, or delete the people and vendors for which we'll be entering contributions and disbursements. The top row is where your committee information is stored. You should only have one entry per individual, so be careful with data entry. I have some test data entered in here, but if you just downloaded the software, you will not have data yet. We have other videos to help you start entering data. The Reports tab lists all disclosure reports you have created in the committee file. To add a report, you can right-click inside the tab. You can also modify items by right-clicking on them. Usually, there are a couple ways to perform each action, but when in doubt, right-click. If you're working on a particular report, make sure that report is highlighted. Let's start with the April quarterly report. The Summary Page tab shows a summary of the activity that will be shown on the report, in this case, the April quarterly. The Summary Page tab shows totals for each line number in both the period covered and the election cycle. Financial transactions may be entered on line numbers by right-clicking or double-clicking a line. Next, I'm going to go over the tabs you will use to enter transactions. The Receipts tab is where we'll enter contributions received by the committee. Like most other tabs, the Receipts tab only shows the contributions on the report we have highlighted, in this case, April quarterly. The Disbursements tab is where we'll enter all expenditures made by the committee. The Loans, Debts, and Obligations tab lists the debts, loans, or other obligations that are owed to or by the committee. The All Transactions view lists all transactions entered in the committee file, including those from past reporting periods. Transactions are sorted by line number and name. To review, always use an existing committee file, back up your data, and when in doubt, right-click. Also, I encourage you to watch the next videos in the series to learn more about FECFILE and empower yourself to file your reports easily and accurately. Thanks for watching.